New tonight at 10, Harmony Home in Odessa has been around for over three decades, helping West Texas children and non-offending caregivers who are victims of child abuse. The Children's Advocacy Center saw a 21% increase just last year in direct services, and as they deal with capacity restraints, they are not able to serve all that they need to do. Tyler Dupnick is with us tonight to tell us what this reality means for them, Tyler. Alex, it means they're working toward upgrading and ultimately expanding their current facility to meet those needs. Now, Harmony Home has been forced to operate in two separate locations for over two years. After starting a capital campaign in August, their sites are set on creating more space that will allow them and their partners the ability to better serve our community. For Harmony Home, if not now, then when? The time is now to expand. And we're staying right here. We're just going to have uh, an addition added and uh, renovated uh, space where we're currently at so that we can meet the capacity of our kids. Um, every single year we have grown in need um, and it really has uh, been on the mental health side and our education and our community awareness components. Executive Director Carrie Brona says they saw an 11 percent increase in mental health therapy service just last year, highlighting the current need for more space. It's less kids that we get to serve in our mental health and our education if we don't have it. Um, can we continue working in two offices? Probably. But um, our kids are going to lack in mental health services. And so that healing piece, not only for the children, but for the caregivers, is so significant. That healing piece would improve with this transition. The modalities with mental health is we are going to be able to increase our parent-child interaction therapy. That's something that we currently don't do, uh, where we provide therapy not only to the child and the parent, but them together. Um, we're going to be able to pro provide problematic sexual behavior for our, our children, um, and then our play and art therapy. So we will have space for an entire um, area that's large enough to enhance play therapy and enhance uh, art therapy, do group supports and things like that. Harmony Home works closely with law enforcement, CPS, the DA's office, and even MCH for some cases, for everyone involved, making this expansion a reality would be a benefit. This is where you get to come to. This is your safe place. Um, and you don't have to go to other places and try to be safe and try to feel safe. Um, we have spent so much time focusing on us being child focused and friendly and victim oriented. Um, and we've done a really good job for the last 31 years. So to be able to house everything under one roof, it's icing on the cake for these kids and it's icing on the cakes for these caregivers too. Now Harmony Home received $250,000 in ARPA funds on Tuesday night from the city of Odessa, which brings them to 28% of their project finance goal. If you would like to learn more about the Children's Advocacy Center's mission and expansion efforts, you can go to their website at ohhcac.org.